Oh my god, it's Fantasy Star! Welcome! So, today on December 20th, uh, is the, it's the 30th anniversary of Fantasy Star, released in 1987 in Japan. This is the North American and European release, uh, release on the Master System from 88. And Fantasy Star is probably my favorite 80s RPG, so I was... I had to sit down and play it for this occasion. If you've never played Fantasy Star, it's quite different from other 80s RPGs, as you'll notice from the start. Um, so this is on the Master System, uh, or the Mark III in Japan. And yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Space Century 342, Kemenite on Palma. Scum, do not sniff around in Lassic's affair. Learn this lesson well. Oh, I have to. Uh... Nero, what happened? Don't die! Alice, listen. Lassic is leading our world to destruction. I. Tried to discover his plans, but I could not do much by myself. I have heard of a man with great strength named Odin. Maybe the two of you can stop Lassic. Alice, it's too late for me. Be strong. I will make sure that my brother died not in vain. Watch over and protect me, Nero. So, here we go. We are Alice. Alice Landale. This little pink girl here. And let me just get acquainted with the controls. That's the menu button. Yep. Cool. Got it. And this is our hometown. If we go and talk to this fella, it'll be like, oh, you can't go outside, I think. You had better not leave the residential area. Yeah, we're going to leave the residential area. So, what makes this different from a lot of other RPGs at the time is that, well, it has an established cast. It's not about, you know, creating your own character or party or anything like that. It has a female protagonist. A really good one, too. Alice Landale is quite amazing. And... Oh, I, I picked the wrong house. I'm Nekise, one, of, one hears lots of stories, you know, but some say that a fighter named Odin lives in a town called Sion. Also, I have a Laconian pot given by Nero. That would be helpful to you in your task. I wish I could help you more. I pray for your safety. So we're out to uh, get revenge on the death of our brother, and to stop this evil Lassic. I guess it's this house then. Yeah. The dungeons are a, fir are a first person. It's a first-person dungeon crawler. And yet, this is the master system. Look at the smooth animation. The master system. In 1987. Like, they did some really cool shit. There's a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Yes. 50 mesetas. This is basically, basically the, tut the tutorial area to teach you how dungeons work. And you get some free coins. I don't know if there's anything down the other road. It's been forever since I played this game. No, there isn't. Yeah. You can look at yourself. They actually remade this game for PS2 uh, in 2003. It's called Fantasy Star Generation 1. And it's a really good remake. Like, it's, it's fucking gorgeous. It's still a 2D uh, top-down RPG and everything. It's really neat. Here is the home of Alice. Yep. Let's see. I'm Swallow. I know how you must feel, dear. No one can stop you from doing what you know you must do. But if you should ever be wounded in battle, come here to rest. Please rest yourself. You are welcome here at any time. Yeah, so... Start starting City Free Inn. Always good. Over there is the Resurrection Hut, of course. You need a dungeon key to open locked doors. Yeah, thanks.
the Kamenich residential area is under martial law. So you need to approach people you want to talk to from b uh, below or they won't talk to you. Let's see... What do we have in our... We have a short sword and light armor. We could probably do some battle with that. We don't need to go shopping just yet. Maybe we should buy some... Um... Oh, this is armory. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, not really as advanced as Final Fantasy when it comes to um, deciding what you uh, get. Of. Let's get a cola. Oh, I, I said no. I have got to use to which one of the one and two buttons give you. Um... Oh, okay. So one cancels, two accepts. Okay, got it. Yes, I want to buy a cola. No. So this is, um, cool. Oh, we don't need the third tab. We're right. So, uh, a neat thing about this game is they're actually released in uh, Europe. Final Fantasy, do you know about the planets of the Algal Star System? I mean, I do, but let's say we don't. There are three planets, Palma, Motavia, and Dezoris. Palma is a world of green. Motavia is a world of sand. Dezoris is a world of ice. The Algal Star System is currently facing a great crisis. Thank you. So yeah, um... It actually released in Europe. Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest didn't. Uh... Okay, we may not pass. And yeah, you can see that these are very much, um... <laughs> They, they look like clone troopers, but to the clone troopers weren't um, a thing yet in Star Wars. They're pretty ahead of its time. The uh, art style and everything in this game really is very much based on uh, 70s uh, and 80s science fiction anime. Right, let's go around and fight some stuff. Or not. Maybe, oh wait, I, I probably need to leave the uh, the town walls to fight. Never mind. There we go. Oh, it's an owl bear. The flying eye is called an owl bear. Yeah. So much like. Um... Oh shit! We are not doing well. We died. Alice's hope cannot overcome the power of Lassic. The adventure is over. Um, let's just skip this. <laughs> okay. So, that was higher level enemies than I thought it would be. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, old RPGs are unforgiving and unfair. That's something everyone knows. Alright. In the uh, sequels to this game, there were three sequels Fantasy Star 2, Fantasy Star 3. Generations of Doom, Fester 4, The End of the Millennium. In those games, you actually, um... Uh, we can't leave here, right? Can we? We can, okay. Because maybe you can face enemies right outside them. Maybe I have to go into the forest. It's been forever since I played this, so I don't remember how to fight things. But yeah, in all the sequels, you actually have like the the uh, party visible on the bottom of the screen, and they will like jump up and attack. It was, it's really cool. They do that in the remake as well. Okay, can do this. Ah, oh, yeah, swarm is killed. The three Mercedes. Us. 
So, I believe the localization sh Oh god, run. I believe the localization changed uh, the items to use to heal. I don't think they were like, you know, food in the Japanese version. Obviously these days if I start to use uh, monomites and monomates to um, heal up. Don't know if these are supposed to be there or not. Let's buy a burger. I guess we should check what the uh, armory stuff costs as well. It's been way too long since I played this game. Okay, so I can't afford it yet. And of, and of course to spell shield with uh, with uh, as SLD, that makes perfect sense. What other shorthand would make sense for shield than S other than SLD? It doesn't seem like we can face anything out here. I guess it's I guess it is forest only. All right, good. It's warm. So yeah, the big downside to this game, and this actually goes for the first two Phantom Star games, is that they are very, very grind heavy. Like, you basically have to um, be grinding between every story point, basically. Which is a shame, but that's that's how 80s RPGs were. I can think of one that wasn't like that. Um, and the, re the remakes do f do fix that up, so that's a good thing. I really I really do recommend the remakes. Uh, they're really cool. Um, can I see the next experience, the next level up? No, I can't. Okay. We should try. I, I should see what the burger does. I think it heals me. Yes. Cool. Perfect. Oh god, it's an owlbear. No! And I'm dead. I'm dead. What I'm doing this time is I'm going to save. Oh, right. Uh, um, Dre. Oh, um, no, what? Fuck, no. There we go. Cool. Now, I don't have to worry about having to watch through the intro every time I die. Yeah, Fenster was really generous when it came to saving. It had world map saving instead of going to the ne to the end like Final Fantasy 1 did. And 5 say, Oh my fucking god! Good, this is warm. Basically, we need to level up. We get so little XP, and I don't know when we level up. If you ever played the original Dragon Quest, you will know that this, it's exactly like this. And I love the original Dragon Quest, but... Yeah. Old games. Alright, so we need to go heal. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. That's great, that's great. Just heal me. Thank you.
So yeah, this was actually the... This was probably the first Japanese RPG I played. Because, like I mentioned, it was actually out in Europe. Um, and... Coming off of games like Ultima and... Uh, Dungeon Master. I think I played Dungeon Master before this. It was an interesting experience. And it, it's what led me to play, you know, the other games in the series, the sequels, the Fetstar Online, of course. And uh, I, I no longer I, I no longer play Fetstar Online. Actually, I, I used to play Fetstar Online 2 a lot. Um, the Japanese release, obviously, because they didn't release it in the West. But um, I need to get the Mercedes. I didn't get that this time. Uh, but it's it's a it's a cool series. I I really love playing um, Fenster Online on Dreamcast. Uh, I still have my original copy for that. Okay, I, I I never I never liked Fenster Universe, which if you if you actually actually played that last year, you might remember <laughs> if you watched my videos because it it was its tenth anniversary last year. And now this game's 30th anniversary, which is a bit more impressive. I think we can just get a few colas, because we don't we won't need much more. Actually that would be fine. It's easier later when you have a party, because then if one character dies, you don't lose you don't get a game over, obviously. And I believe the next part of we get is Meow, which we won't get until we get to the next part of the town. Which is over there. We can't go there yet. I might be wrong. I think that's where you I think that's where you meet Meow. I know you first have to level up, and then you need to like go by a illegal pass. I think that might be in the city to the north. Uh it's like it's, like it's been forever since I played this game, like I mentioned. I actually, I did I, when I did live streams more often a few years back. I actually did play um, the PS2 remake on stream. That was kind of fun. I think we could probably. I think it's probably the same uh, level of enemies out out here, so we can probably just uh, start start moving to the city to the north, which is somewhere out here. Oh god damn it. Oh good. Are you kidding me? No! And there's two of them. Yeah, well, it's a good thing I saved. Tall grass is dangerous. <laughs> two swarms. Uh, when you when you f when you fight two enemies, it's not two enemies on screen. Instead, you get two HP counters, basically, because old games. Sure do. Still haven't leveled up, unless there's not a level up message. Nope, there isn't. I think it might be a 20 XP will level up. So this game and um, the series itself was created by a woman named uh, Koroma Rieko. And Koroma Rieko also worked on things like Sonic the Hedgehog, um, S uh, Sega Ninja, uh, she created Skies of Arcadia on a Dreamcast. And she's the producer for the 7th Dragon series, which uh, the last game in that series actually made it to the West. She's, she's a pretty pretty important person to gaming history. And it's a shame that more people know her name. Considering, you know, she created fucking Fantasy Star. See, so I think this might be where I need to go. No, I don't want to buy an armory. Basically, in one of the towns there's a shop where you can buy an an illegal counterfeit boarding pass. Oh, it's 200 Mercedes. 
This is it. The secrets one is it. So I need I need to hoard money. That's fine. That's fine. There's no there's no dungeon here, is there? It's fine. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Hello. A cave called Noala lies on north coast of Bay MLA. Yeah. That's the first real dungeon, I think. I remember the second dungeon was like this, um... Uh, prison. It was pretty cool. I say that, like I mentioned, it's been ages that I played this. So, I, I was... I've been away for two weeks, as you might know. I was in Japan. I was in Japan, and I had a fucking great time. Uh, it was wonderful there. Um, met a lot of very nice people. I was at a Purapara concert. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Oh, I don't have any, I don't have any healing items. Well, uh, I hope I can make it back to the town. Oh, good. We, um, I went with, went with, went with my friend, uh, Kurura, and, uh, who is also the person I, who was the co-writer on, uh, uh, Last Night in Tokyo. Fifteen Mercedes? Oh, it's not acceptable, but I don't have a choice. Jesus. Fifteen Mercedes? Ah. Oh god, a scorpion. Can I can I even do these? Yeah, you can talk with some things. I'm not gonna talk to a scorpion. That's 12 HP, that's less than me. Let's try. Oh yeah, this is this seems even. Oh yeah, four experience points. 13 Mercedes! Now that's more like it! That is more like it! Um... Okay. Oh, we're level 2 now! Awesome! That is great! We can't go in here, can we? Oh, we can! Ooh! Yeah, we don't have, we don't have a key to the dungeon. Oh shit. Um I don't have any healing items. There wasn't any shop that sold them in the town either. We have to run back and buy some more colas. Alright, well, let's, t let's test our luck. So the game is a little riskier than something like Final Fantasy, which is fairly forgiving at the start. Oh god, a man-eater. Those are, those are dangerous if I, if I remember correctly. We're just gonna run until we are back. Now we can fight on the grass. Interesting. Didn't notice it until now. Okay, good. Hello. Well, let's start by getting healed. For free! Thanks, Bay. Alright, let's go buy cola. Hopefully we will actually start making money now instead of losing it. Oh, you can only walk on the paths, by the way. Uh, <laughs> no walking on the grass. That's illegal. My favorite Fantasy game, by the way, is actually... Well, it's the remake of this. So it's not, not really this one, but it's, it's the remake. Um, although I also really like um, 4 and 3. 
I think most people's favorites are probably 2, which I understand can be 2 is a fantastic game. But, um... To me, the first game always stuck out, probably because I really love Alice as a protagonist. And, um... Oh god. The scorpion's kicking my ass! Oh, there's two of them, but... So much for making money! I need my second party member stacked. No, you attacked the wrong one! Uh. Jesus fuck! The hell was that? Ugh. Well, now I have to go back and heal. Oh god damn it, Albert! I, wow, I didn't expect the two scorpions to be that overpowered. Uh, old games. Old games. I was able to beat Final Fantasy on MSX. This shouldn't be a problem for me. I miss Rusty. I wonder if we can... We can't leave to the spaceport. Maybe we can go in here. Oh, we can! Oh, wait. Gotta... Don't tell me I can actually go meet Meow already. Wait, no, wait. Wait. No, oh, there. It's, it's, it's not the same place. Good. There is an underground passage to the Gothic Forest somewhere in the west of Parallel. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Classic NPC dialogue. To the east lies a port town called Sion. Yeah, I was there. It was, it was nice. Medusa has been reborn and lives in a cave to the south. If you see her, you will be turned to stone. I always liked how much Fanstar is like a sci-fi setting that still plays with fantasy. It's like sort of the reverse Final Fantasy, which is most often a fantasy-esque setting that plays with sci-fi. For this video you can go to pay- yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We can't go to this page, we don't have a pass. Huh, I could've sworn you met Meow at the second city. I guess my memory is just faulty. Hmm. Oh well. That's fine. I like to save money, but I also need some healing items, so... Okay... Oh, let's buy... Let's buy two colas. Cause then, we, then we still have made a profit based on that scorpion fight. I guess we don't meet Meow here. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe we meet... Maybe we meet one of the other characters first, but I'm pretty sure we meet Meow first. Meow is a cat. I know. Um, we're str we're level two now, so I wonder if that was a mistake. Fucking owl bears. I was talking about Japan, wasn't I? Yeah, I was in Japan and. It was really, really cool. We saw a pre pre-pro concert, we went to a pre-cure character show. Um, we ate at a at Kawaii Monster Cafe, it was really cool. We went to this dancer bar called Queen Dolce, which is lovely. Um, shopped in Harajuku and of course Akihabara. I I adored it there. Like I've I don't think I've ever felt so home in a in a, um, f no, a foreign place. It was quite amazing. Maybe we meet Meow here and I just missed Meow. It's also possible I'm thinking of the remake, because uh, the remake is what I played the latest, and maybe they changed the position of where you meet Meow. Because basically, Meow's quote-unquote owner 
is like full of shit and we're going to be helping Meow find that person or something. And then Meow ends up sticking with us instead because we're cooler. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember. Need a compass to pass through the epi forest. Yeah, okay, cool. Actually, I do kind of miss the days when NPCs were just, just direct about stuff. Oh wait, talking cave- oh no, yeah. Oh wait though, no. I sold it for a good price to a merchant from Paseo. Alright, so we're heading- yeah, okay, we're heading to Paseo. I don't know where Paseo is. But the talking beast is meow. Awesome, I already spoke to you. They say that they're on Okay, yeah, cool. Just tell me how to get to Paseo. A door locked with magic can only be opened with magic. Yeah, that's... Yep, that's how magic works. That's magic for you. Odin set off to kill Medusa. He went with an animal that can speak. The animal had a bottle of medicine hanging from its neck, but I don't know what it was for. Oh, this... So Odin has... Meow? Really? That seems... wrong? I guess my memory really is off then. But well, Medusa is to the cave, is in the cave. So that would mean it wasn't Paseo. Wait, no wait! Oh yeah, Odin has been turned to stone! And... Meow was found in the cave because Meow was looking for help. And Meow was sold to someone in Pase. Yes, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, now, now I'm back on track. Now I know what I'm. Now I know what we're doing. Yay, we're level three. Let's drink some cola to celebrate. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I think it might be up here then. There's the there's the Medusa's cave. Oh god, it's evil dead. Sorry, Bruce Campbell. I'm not interested. No, well, this, this is the Medusa's cave. Yeah, we don't want to go back here. Huh. Dead tree. At least the game is mo mostly uh, cool with letting you run away. The RNG on that is pr pretty much in the play player's favor, it seems. Oh my god, it's a fish man! Look at that beautiful animated water, though! The shore and everything! God, this game is gorgeous! It's 30 years old! Huh. Is there a city over here, maybe? Oh, hello, Scorpion. I should get new equipment. Because that also means spending my money. I also need to get healed, though. Oh my god! Did that treasure chest just shoot me? I don't know, I, I... It seemed like it did. Wing Eye? I think these are... Like the lesser form of the, those owl things. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing here either. No, it's owl bear. Why are they called owl bears? It's gotta be like some. Mistranslation thing that went on there. I'm not fighting two wing eyes. Not at this health. No. Oh shit. Fine. Whew. I didn't want to do that. Okay, we're gonna have to save here. Oh yeah, I should probably mention this. I, I was going to mention it in some other video, but uh, the Destiny 2 thing, 
I was playing Destiny 2 two weeks ago, and was I was having a blast. I actually recorded a second episode, but for some reason all the like video is just black. Suddenly the recording software isn't working. So um, there's a lost episode of that, and I don't know if I'll be continuing it because of that. Um, if I do, it's going to be like a 90 minute jump forward basically, because I did a ton of shit. And had a really good time. Um, and I don't know. Wait. Now I can go here, right? That's the thing, isn't it? I bet that's it. We need we need to talk to the merchant first, right? Come on. I don't want to have to look up a guide. I should know this game by heart. I say, having not played it in over a decade, but still. Wait, from the space bridge you can go to Paseo. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. We don't. Oh, oh. I knew that. I already had that conversation. Oh, come on. Uh, I think I'm stronger than the owlbear now. Barely. Yeah, okay, so we need to get the pass for the spaceport. And then we can go talk- then we can go find Meow. Oh! I need to stretch out, I'm still- I'm doing this the first thing in the morning. Because of course I am. What else would I be doing? in the morning. Oh, this is not going to our favor, but we won, so that's fine. Those owlbears are fucking persistent. There's a problem with having your first uh, quest in the game be based on the money. You don't want to buy new equipment, because like... I need the money. I need 200 Mercedes so I can buy the secrets, which is the illegal boarding pass. Actually, fun fact, in the PS2 remake, uh, the secrets option is not on the screen. In order to buy that, you have to walk around the counter to um, talk to um, the shopkeep, and only then can you buy it. It's like it's one. Well, it's not officially on in in store. I think that's pretty neat. Although it also infuriated me because when I was playing the game for the first time, I was like, I know I'm supposed to buy the fucking pass from this guy, but there's no pass here, and I just spent like two hours just confused, just grinding XP while trying to figure out what I had done wrong. <laughs> Should be an old video on Twitch somewhere of, of that. It was, it was quite fun. Oh, we're ha we're halfway there. Whoa, leading on a prayer. At least I haven't died in a while now. Saving was a good call. Uh, 14. That's fine. I really like the music in this game. It's so soothing. Wish I knew the composer's name by heart. I don't. Oh shit. I actually forget how you're supposed to learn about the uh, illegal boarding pass. There is someone who tells you that, like, I've heard a guy in blah 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 makes counterfeit passes or something. I can't for the life of me remember who said it and where they are. 26 Mercedes? Woo, I'm rich! I'm gonna use that to heal myself up. 
Because going back to the, uh, the other city is going to lose me more time than what it takes to get back 15 Meseta. I'm glad I'm playing this game again. As ridiculous and grind heavy as it is. I'll tell you before, but I think Alice from uh, the main character, Alice, I think she is still probably like. One of the best female protagonists in uh, video games. I blew up! Did I take much damage? Uh. Uh, like she's really, really good uh, and is treated with so much respect and just. She's great and it's so strange because, like. It's a 30 year old game, and I would say it's, it handles its main character better than most games today do. And I guess part of that just comes from the fact that, well, the series was created by a woman. So, that helps. <laughs> um, it's unfortunate that I have that, that's the case, but it is. Now we're losing money. Thanks to that bomb chest. That's not good. One of the problems is you can't decide who you attack, the game decides for you. A bit like um, Final Fantasy IV Heroes of Light. If you play that, and it's, for most for the most part, it's not an issue because you know you never fight more than two enemies anyway. But um, sometimes you get one of those po you get the moments where like you could have killed one enemy and you know been safe from the hit, but no, no, you attacked the wrong one. Gotta okay, get two colas. Oh dear. Okay. Fucking owl bears. Uh, do I even want to? It's, I'm going to have to drink a cola afterwards. No. I should be able to. I think next level I should be able to one hit kill swarms at least. Free Meseta. <laughs> Yay! I got a spell! I'm not supposed to be a healing spell. Let's find out. <laughs> Magsy! I got heal! Awesome! And I have say around P because I haven't rested. Well, I'm actually, we can drink a cola because we won't, we won't lose any HP on that. Even on level 4, it's kind of ridiculous how much damage you take from the starting monsters. Right, no. No. Again. I just got 26 Mercedes. I will get, I will get, if I heal up here, I will get my uh, mana back. Or my MP. 30 Mercedes? No! You fucking up the price because I leveled up? 
Oh, actually, it's probably because I, cause I get magic now as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and rest for free. Again. Because we need our Meseta. And hopefully, when we get back to the town next time, we'll be able to buy the secrets. Oh god, it's an owlbear. Oh, come on! Thank you. At least I can get the, um... I guess, at least I want to kill the swarms now, that's good. Alright! We have 4 MP! That's great. I do want to shop at the armory, but like, I can't afford that. So. I need a bit of sword, and I need a better armor, or a shield. I don't have a shield yet, so that, that should be priority. I always like that Alice has a sword in her hand when she walks around. Oh no, 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 no. It's a nice detail. The, the Dragon Quest characters have, have that as well. I don't think they do anymore, but they used to. Would walk with a sword upright. And yeah, the attack sound is literally. Old games. This game is so colorful. Okay, let's find out how much magic healing costs. Oh! Two! Okay. That's doable. As please focus your attacks. Ah, uh, don't spread them out. The last time we got a turn-based Fancy Star was actually uh, Fancy Star Four, which I believe was like 93, 92, 93, something like that. Long time ago. Kind of miss it. As much as I love Fancy Star Online, both the uh, Dreamcast and Fancy Star Online 2 game, um, I still kind of wish that we would just at some point get, you know, a throwback. I was kind of like crossing my fingers, hoping that, come on, 30th anniversary, announce Fancy Star 5. It would be so cool. Or like a, a, a new remake. Okay, so it's actually based on. Oh god, I had the money I needed. Ugh. It's actually based on how much healing I need. That's cool. But, um... But no, it doesn't seem to be anything happening on that front. I also I was also sort of said goodbye to P PSO2. Um, I didn't care for how the later episodes... Um, where the, or rather, where the later episodes took the story. And then I actually got really pissed off, because... For the 30th anniversary, they introduced the character of Alice Landale, the character we're playing, into PSO2. Uh, it's a different continuity, so it's a different Alice, but you know, same name and supposed to be the same design. Except they did the thing that they never did with Alice, and gave her like a sexy revealing outfit. Even though Alice has had like a fully clothed outfit in both this original game and in the remake, like, she was never sexualized, and that was one of the cool things about her, I thought, always thought, like, she's an RPG protagonist from the fucking 80s, and she's fully respected and dressed up as a warrior would be in a game like this. Um... One more Meseta. So when I saw that in PSO2, I was... 
I was so angry and I was like, no, I'm not I'm not going back to that game now. It felt like such a insult to the character to like suddenly decide that you need a sex appeal to make Alice, you know a worthy character. After, after literally 30 years of not needing it. Alright, let's buy the secrets. What? No! I need the secrets! There we go. Now we can board the spaceport. I wonder what the uh, shields cost here. <sighs> Light armor. Leather armor, right. What do I have? Do I have leather armor? I do. It's a shield and a new sword I would need to get. Alright. Just under an hour into the game, but we have our pass. We have finished the first quest in the game. Oh, right, and I should save. I'm always surprised that Fantasy Star doesn't have a bigger following in the West, like the original games, considering, you know, both Europe and North America got them. We got them, like, very, very quickly following the um, Japanese release. Like, just months after. And I mean, it's just as cool as Final Fantasy 1 was. I would say it's better than Final Fantasy 1. It has the same grinding issues. Actually, it's kind of. It's actually more grinding than Final Fantasy 1, but so was all the other popular RPGs, so. You know. Whatever. Maybe it's because the Sega Moss system just wasn't big enough. The Mega Drive took off in Europe, uh, and was bigger than Nintendo here, but um, the MOS system never really was. I played it, I played this, I played Alex Kidd, like, I loved my MOS system, Wonder Boy, the Wonder Boy games were lovely. If you never played Wonder Boy, they actually did a remake of one of the best ones, um, and now the name escapes me, and that's not good. Uh, was it Monster Land? No, it wasn't Monster Land. Monster World? Monster World and Monster Land are two different games. Oh, the, oh, the Dragon's Trap. Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Uh, they made a remake of that, just called The Dragon's Trap. And, uh, yeah, check it out. It's, it's, it's cool. Um, I don't know if it's out yet or not, but it looked really neat, that remake. Um... Where's the enemies? Are you serious right now? Hello? Enemies? There we go. Oh, it's fucking owl bears. Fine. Just noises. There was also it was actually a um it wasn't a mass system, but on Game Gear they actually had a Mega Man game. The forgotten 8-bit Mega Man game. I have a Game Gear as well. Ow. 
Alice. Please kill. Oh, God. I should have done this. I should have just kept on retreating. There we go. That should be enough to buy some, uh, buy a shield. But yeah, the moss system was cool. It, w it had good games. It's a shame it's kind of forgotten now. I mean, I suppose, I suppose I f oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. I think the MUS system was available on the Wii Virtual Console. I know the Mega Drive was. But there weren't many games there, from what I remember. Uh, okay, let's see. Item. Equip. Yes. Good! Yeah, five save files in a fucking RPG in 1987. Imagine that. Uh, alright, now we can pass. You may proceed. Yes, we do. Ah, yeah, spaceport. Hell yeah. Look at all these identical people moving stuff. This is Palmer's spaceport. From the spaceport, you can go to Paseo and Motavia. Look at these gorgeous backgrounds. This game is so pretty. Uh, I, I could go for a cola, thank you. Okay, how do I leave? Do I talk to you guys? Yes, I do. Huh? I do have my passport. Oh, wait. What? Uh... Huh. How do I get my passport? Are you kidding me? Oh, you can find my passport. Do you want a pa Yes. No. No. One hundred... <sighs> Back to grinding. God damn it. I just traveled to Japan. Through Amsterdam and back through Paris. Let me tell you, it was not this much of a hassle. Oh no! Well, I have a shield now, so I should not take as much damage. I say and take three damage. No, fuck you. I'm not fighting the Albers. Shouldn't have bought that cola. Where- why are there no enemies here? Are there only enemies outside the gate on the grass? Is that it? They weren't shy before. Wow, three mesetas. Wonderful, thanks. I can take on one owlbear, owlbear, that's fine. Owlbear... 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 I wonder if it was called to be... Or if it was going to be called Orb something, originally. Well, then again, Owl is Auru. So I don't know. 
Because Owlbear makes no sense. Yay, Twill Mercedes. We're not ending this video until I until I meet Meow. Assuming Meow is on where I think he is. Actually, I don't know. I don't know Meow's gender now that I think about it. I think Meow's a boy. But I don't know. Maybe the maybe those cats don't have gender, right? Not to think about it. I never really thought about that before. I guess I'll find out when I get when when, when I meet them. Huh. I mean, it's, not, it's as grindy as this is, and as infuriating is that the first quest is about gathering money. Uh, I'm still having a better time playing this than I had playing most of Final Fantasy One. I'm still, uh, I'm still having more fun with this. Probably because of partially the, the, the visuals are just like, gorgeous, but also it's like something about how the, how you interact with the world is so different from other games. Oh, I dodged. I mean, how many games do you go buy a a uh, counterfeit uh, road pass so that you can sneak aboard a uh, sneak to the spaceport and then need to apply for a passport? Like, that's the kind of shit you would do in pen and paper RPGs, but you would never see in a game. Nice, we got we're getting we're getting uh, a lot of mercedes now. Almost there already. Like, Dragon Quest was simple. It was like, hey, this, uh, save the princess, stop the Dragon Knight, uh, that's it. It's Dragon Knight and Dragon Lord. I don't remember now. And Dragon Quest I actually replayed last year, so that, that I should remember. Honestly, the biggest issue with this game is just how low the numbers you get stuff uh, in is. Like, if they did what the Dragon Quest uh, remakes did, and, like, boosted experience and gold and such, I would be able to recommend this today. Like, yeah, by all means, check out Fan Star 1, you know? But because of how slow it is, it's hard to get into as a newcomer now. Although the PS2 remake is actually very, very accessible. So do check that one out if you can. It has a fan translation. It was never officially translated. It was actually, it was going to be officially translated. The plan was to um, remake three games. Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star 2, and Fantasy Star 4. And the reason it's 4 and not 3 is because that's the uh, trilogy that uh, Colomarieco made. Fenster 3 was actually by a separate team uh, to basically to fill in the space between 2 and 4's uh, development uh, cycle. Because Sega, Sega wanted more Fantasy Star games out. Uh, still a very good game though, very interesting game. Uh, very polarizing game, a lot of Fenster fans hate Fantasy Star 3, but I like it. Um, anyway, Fantasy Star 1, 2, and 4 was going to get full, beautiful, well, not HD, but. PS2 remakes, all new artwork and animations and story scenes, and 1 and 2 got it, and then Sega cancelled the current Aegis 2500 project, um, maybe it was Aegis 5200, uh, I never remember which project it was, and um, the fourth, the remake of, PS, of Fantasy Star 4 was uh, cancelled. And as a result, apparently they also cancelled the localization, because they were going to release Fantasy Star 1, 2, and 4, I'm guessing as one collection in the West, uh, called Fantasy Star Trilogy. Because uh, they, they weren't released as budget titles, they weren't released as full price titles. Uh, so releasing them as a collection made perfect sense for the West. But, um, that never happened, unfortunately. Instead, we got a regular collection of Fantasy Star 1, 2, 3, 4 for the 20th anniversary, so 10 years ago. Um, of the unaltered games. Also only in Japanese, mind you. 
The only release of the original games we've gotten in the West since the original release is the Game Boy Advance port. And the Game Boy Advance port is strange because it has 1, 2, and 3, but not 4. 4, the one that people... that It's either 4 or 2 that's a fan favorite. It might be 4. I think, yeah, yeah, it probably is 4, actually. 4 is the fan favorite, and, like, the crucial ending to, like, everything 1 and 2 builds up. But the Game Boy Advance Collection only has 1, 2, and 3. So, that's kind of awkward. Yes, thank you. I'm glad I can go see my girlfriend and rest. That's my reading of it, and you can't take that away from me. Yes, I know I may proceed, Clone Trooper. Alright, uh, let's go apply for a passport. Yes, do you want a passport? Yes. I've never done anything illegal. I do not have an illness. I can pay it. Yay, we have a passport. Just like in real life. That's exactly how you get a passport. We have a passport. <sighs> Let's fly! Bound for Motavia. Yeah, we're getting on. This is so cool! Time to check in through customs and get all the bags done. And, uh, no. no, we just gotta talk to these guys and we'll be done. Here, proceed. Yes. All right. Now, where do we find Meow? Do you have Meow? A gift is needed if you wish to see the governor. Oh, I... I don't. There's a cave called Maharu in the mountain to the north of Paseo. Yes, it's great. Some intelligent monsters have their own language. Yes, of course they do. Maybe we meet Meow in a house in this version. The governor loves sweets, I hear. Yes, I know. We, we're going to get an ice cream later and give it to the governor. And we have to, to buy the ice cream, we have to go through a cave with like 15 floors uh, to go to the ice cream shop. I'm not ma No, it, it's a cake. It's not an ice cream, it's cake. Uh, to get to the cake shop, and it's absolutely ridiculous. But that's not right now. Right now, we're looking for Meow. We need to find Meow. Yes, 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 whatever. Where's my cat? Where the hell is my cat? There's no cat in the second hand shop. Oh, it's a shit sword. I have a rare animal here. Would you pay one billion pesetas for it? Yes. You are a liar! No. Have a good day. Okay. Hmm. How do I get Meow? Meow is in here. Maybe we need to be in... We can't open this up, we don't have a key. Oh, this music though. Hmm. Oh. Good. 
sleeping clone troopers. Alright, yeah, sure. Why not? Just sleep on. This is past. Yeah, we already talked to these people. God damn it. How do I. Uh. This bothers me. It really bothers me. Surely we meet. Surely we save Meow before we meet Odin. My memory can't be that off. There's nothing else here. Oh God. So much animation on screen at once. I do want to see what we can fight here though. Oh, more scorpions. That's good actually that we can keep fighting things around our own level and not immediately get owned and have to travel back. How do I... Mm. You're supposed to save Meow somehow. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an rare animal here. Grammar? Come on, dude! If you're gonna sell me stuff, at least speak properly. Do we need help? Yeah, sure. Four Mercedes. Yeah, that is very nice. Thank you. This is the church. Do you wish to resurrect someone? <laughs> No, the thing you do in church. <laughs> God, I love video games. No, we're fine. We're fine. Made a god switch up. Yep, same to you. Oh, nothing was out of the sixteen experience points. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's how it works in Dragon Quest too. I think you talk to the um, uh, priest and they tell you that stuff. I'm stuck. I legitimately do not know what to do now. Huh. I mean, we probably have to get some item that he wants to trade me out for. But I can't for the life of me remember what that would be. What did you say? It's definitely not the ice cream cake thing, because that is way later. Well, not way later, it's right after we get Meow, I think. But we're not gonna go down there with one character, I know that's for sure. Oh. Uh... We can't save Odin, because Odin is in the Medusa's cave, and that's later as well. I'm pretty sure we're not doing the prison break right now. Yeah, I'm stuck. I actually don't know what to do. I guess... I guess I'll have to call it an episode. Uh, guess I... I'm... Yeah, wow. Uh... Shit. Didn't expect to be... Sort of just owned by Fantasy Star like this. I guess I can look it up, but uh, the fact that we can't just get Meow right now probably means it's a big quest we have to do, and it means more grinding. And I already played for an hour. As much as I love this game, uh, I don't think that would be the most interesting video if this is, if this grinding continues for two hours. Uh, so I think what I'll do is this: I um. 
I wasn't planning on making this a series, I'm not planning on continuing this, but I'm also not opposed to it. So, if you want to see more of Fantasy Star 1, if you want to see me play through it, it will most likely be in the coming year. Um, let me know, and you can do it in the comments or on Twitter or wherever you want, really. And I will, um, well, I will consider continuing, because I really do like this game a lot, and it's now 30 years old, and unfortunately kind of forgotten by a lot of people. So, yeah. Take care. Happy 30th anniversary, Fantasy Star. Thank you for all the great memories, and I wish I remembered how to beat you, but I'm already stuck one hour into the game. So, yeah. Take care.